we often don't think of war brides as dekoseki, but I think they are also part of that sojourning group of people. So the war brides post-war period all embody this very, very strong sense of will, purpose, because there is something very bittersweet about leaving your homeland and then arriving in a place that's unknown. You don't know where you're going to go. I found what were called the Japanese War Bride Marriage Books. The American Red Cross held classes for Japanese women in Japan, in Tokyo and Yokohama, orienting women to the life of being an American domestic housewife. The American Red Cross did not treat Italian war brides, British war brides, uh, Australian war brides to the same treatment. In fact, uh, war brides from European countries were given access to war bride ships who transported the women to their new country. Not so in Japan. What the American Red Cross sought to do was to Americanize the Japanese women. So these classes taught them how to make jello molds and how to set a good table and how to make a good tuna or macaroni salad. It was all about showing Japanese women what the American way of life was all about and the cultural expectations. It was as if they're telling the Japanese women to leave your Japanese-ness behind. We don't want it here in the United States. And so these war bride handbooks were very telling in terms of what the cultural expectations were once these women came into the country.